Hi, my name's Kevin and welcome to another video. In tonight's video we're going to have a look at a face mill which I've just imported uh, from China. And um, excellent tool, excellent tool. Um, very accurate, very well made, very well finished and I'm very happy with it. I've had it in the machine just to do some tests with a dial indicator. So I've done a sweep round the circumference and that was within half a, half a thou. So I was happy with that. And also I've done a bottom dial indicated on the bottom as well to see how flat. And uh, same, the same again, very accurate. And I've also swapped the carbide tips out with because I got some extra tips with it just to make sure that the tips were all identical and they are. Um, I haven't tried machining with it yet, which is what I'm going to show in a, a video in a little while. Um, so that'd be interesting to see. But here's a couple of videos of um, dial indicating, you know, the tool itself, and you'll see how accurate it is. It is uh, some people have um, had a lot of issues with Chinese tool and uh, touch wood. I've been very lucky, and I've never had any issues. Um, uh, just the same thing. Just, Talk to the people first. Don't just buy the tool when you see it. Actually talk to the people. They, the Chinese are very helpful and um, you know they will explain things if you're not sure or the same again, they'll show you diagrams and things like that. So yeah, actually talk to the people before you make purchases and uh, you, you probably cut down on the issues what you have in that. Well anyway, here's a couple of the videos um, of the, the test indications and then um, I'll show you the machine in itself. Well here we are, here's the um, dial indicator, it's set up on the arbor itself and as you can see there's no, you know, virtually no run out at all, that was very accurate. And here we've got the dial indicator set up on the widest point of the, each tip and we'll just go through each tip and as you can see again these are very accurate, uh, within a half a thou or so and uh, I was very happy with that. As I said before, I tried um, several tips out of the box. I got ten, 10 tips in all, and I tried all those, and they're all exactly the same. They're all very good you know, quality and consistent in size. So I was happy with that. And they, you know, the tips look as though they're a good quality as well. And then we'll just move over to putting the dial indicator on the bottom, and we'll measure the actual depth of cut of each tip and um, you'll see again that was a very accurate um, so the tips are all the same size and it will just run through each tip here and again within oh, half a foul and um, you know very accurate and then we're over to actually running so we've got a piece of aluminium in the in the vise just the, um, just stock aluminium nothing special and we'll have a look. Um, here we're just taking a, a just a small depth of cut, and um, this is just to show the quality of the um, finished quality of what the tool can produce. So we're just running through. This is on um, auto feed, and we've got the I can't remember what RPM the but it was spinning that, but not a huge. Um, I can't yeah I can't remember. So probably around about 750 RPM somewhere like that. So, but as you can see, it's just flying through. Uh, the qualities um, you can't really tell at this shot, but we'll have a look at a couple of pictures in a little while. Uh, the, the pictures are now coming up, and uh, you'll be able to see the finished quality of you know the, the tool itself. So here we are, is the finished quality, and as you can see, you know that I'm very happy with the results. And then I just thought I'd take a heavy cut. So this is approximately about two mil depth of cut. And um, I've sped the, uh, the ERPMs up here as well. And this, this managed well. Um, we're starting to get a bit of, um, what can I say, like build up around the lead cut. But again, the, the quality of the cut, the, you know, that was still very good. Um, obviously after taking a heavy cut, we'd then take a, a fine cut anyway. Now just keeping that moist, um, keeping the cutter um, lubricated just with WD-40. And uh, that 
was the finished cut on there and I'll just show you a couple of pictures of that. So as you can see, even though this was quite a deep cut, the quality, the finished quality is still very good. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to um, give me the thumbs up or subscribe, that would be much appreciated. And then uh, we'll be having a few more videos coming up in the near future. Thank you.